A. Uh, because I've con I have not conducted a workshop like this before, but uh, I understand from my experience with my students, usually they want some handout. Okay, so maybe I go through step by step the handout. Okay, so while this is running and all that, uh, maybe I can get your attention to this uh, handout. Uh, you can look at page 6, installing and running the software. Okay, make sure you have gotten the CD, copy the contents of the CD to your desktop. You cannot do that if you have not done it. And if you don't have the CD, can you just get from the rest who have left them on the, on the table? Because they have copied it. And while you are at it, can I have a copy as well? Uh, okay, what you can do is you get a copy from their desktop and then you make it into a thumb drive. They are open source, right? The main key is that they are actually free for you to use under the various licenses, either good genome or either that uh, creative commons. So you just follow the instruction there. Permission is already given. So I'm just going to select all and copy it to my desktop or somewhere. Okay, for those of you who are faster, you can actually explore this. Try to run EJS and if it doesn't run, you need the Java Runtime Update 18 which is also available in the CD. Okay, so if you refer to page 6, under 2.2, installing and running the software, basically, EJS does not need installation, just a simple copy will do. If you get it from the official website of Professor Paco, it, is, it comes in a zip file. Then you just have to open it, you just come here, you type EJS, EJS, and it's the first one. Click English, and you can go to the download. Okay, just download the, the current version here. Okay, then if you need any other help, it is all there uh, on the help page. So now that I think I finished copying the disk, okay, do we have problem running it? Uh, okay, this is how you run it, huh? Okay, wait, huh? Thanks for highlighting. Okay, just come here. I copied it to my desktop. It's uh, already extended for you. It's called EJS. 4.2 yeah. I think 09 is a year, sorry. Year, month, day. Okay. So I'm using EGS 4.2 and then click on the EGS console. It asks me, uh, just say yes. And then it runs the, the mode. Okay. Okay, now the, the examples that I would like to go through in this tutorial, this chapter 2 by uh, Professor Wu Gang and, uh, and Pak Ko, the example can be found if you follow the instruction. It can be found in your folder. So just just back one, look for your modeling science, chapter 2, chapter 2, and then under uh, mass and screen, XML. XML is just uh, the format, uh, so that it's readable by the viewer. Sorry. Yeah, we can't run the. Uh, mm. uh, you need Java runtime to be updated, yeah. That's why you need, admin, you need administration password to your own PC. Uh. Yes. It's, it's is also in the CD I gave. Yeah. Uh, it looks like this, huh? The file looks something like this, huh? I think it's this one. Huh? 
I think it's this one. Of course, you could download it, download it from the official website. Uh, but because I know that things can go wrong very easily, so I made a copy in the CD. <laughs> so far open, navigate to modeling science, uh, chapter 2, and then look at the mass and string example. And it runs, okay, uh, without, without going through too much of the details, let me just show you how to run it. I just click on the green button, and you have a perfectly working applet now. Okay, later, I'll show you how to deploy it on the web. Okay. So you can click play, then it obeys the equation which you find in this model. Okay, I'm just going to let it run and then I'm just going to walk around to see that uh, you are happy. You're okay because apparently I'm the only one that, that knows all these things, so I need to come around. Any problem? Okay. Okay, you're still running. Just let it run. Navigate to the folder called chapter 2 because the professors have created a large number of simulations to allow people like us, the teachers in the school, to use them. So what we do is, at the end of the day, I'll show you how to mix some of the simulations to suit your own teaching needs. And if you want to talk about a higher level of pedagogical uh, use, is you can allow your Huachong students to create simulations. Imagine the, the power in the learning. Because I'm a testimonial to how much I've learned in these past four years. The, the, the things you learn are, are more rich. It's better than learning the formulas and then not knowing how it can be applied. Because in this computational model, you can actually find out the physics in a very media rich kind of way. Okay, so on page 6, uh, install Java runtime, okay? Copy EJS to hard disk which I told you to copy to the desktop, okay? Everything? Okay, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, your simulation is running, that means uh, you have to for those of you who are faster, you can explore the other buttons and you can look through the various steps because these are the necessary steps you want to use to close the copy. 18 copies. Okay, so